Hey guys, Bubble Pop Kids here. It is Squishy Chopping Monday. Rest now. Bubble, you serious? Squishy Chopping Monday with like crab holding a zebra balloon? You're crazy. Hey Gab, you're back to the Squishy Chopping block. I got one, two, three, four, five different things today. And probably the weirdest is this big old crab. Ooh, it's squishy, it's slimy, it's weird. Bubble, whatever you do, give me the crab legs. These look so good. And like juicy, look at that. We got this big old crab. We're gonna start slicing into that with my little shizzies. We also have three things from Colleen. We got two homemades. Ooh, a little one, a bigger pink one. This one is a little sparkly. <laughs> so, like the third thing from Colleen is like baby jar Nutella. What's going on? Lately, my best friend Colleen has been dropping me off tons of things, little souvenirs from her trip to Japan and squishies, but she dropped me off this and I thought it was a little odd. It is the tiniest little Nutella slam. Nutella slam, Nutella slam, but why do you say so? This is amazing. So she picked that up, oh, I cannot wait to look at that. She even said it is like chocolate scented. I don't know what's going on with that. And I picked this up at a store the other day. It is some kind of slam putty. Um, slam putty can. Okay. Hey everybody, the time has come to start chopping this stuff up, see what's going on with it. I got my little plaid scissors. These are my faves lately. And if you're ever going to do this at home, just make sure you have an adult or parent supervising. We don't know what's in these little squishies. And the scissors can be sharp. Chum on, everybody. Time to do it. Oh, chum on, chum on. Oh, chum on, chum on. First one up on the table, we got the Colleen Homemade. Colleen's been so busy lately, she's been traveling, but she still makes time to make me my squishies. So happy. Ooh, this is really weird. Super squish and sparkly. And stretchy. Exactly, have all the qualities we love, Bubble. It's super stretch, it's got the sparkle, it's got some type of stuff inside. It's relaxing. It's a homemade stress reliever. What you call it? Bub, I must say, Colleen is becoming more professional at this because it's so squishy and I can't make heads or tails of it. In a couple minutes, I have to say, this is probably one of the softest. This is like one of the best squishies she's ever made. It's so, so cool. It feels like a profesh one. <laughs> I could squish it all day. <clears throat> Relieve the stress. But it is time to pop. Figure out what's inside. Let's do it. Ooh, <laughs> some kind of jelly. Ooh, look at that. Bubble, Bubble, this is what I call a golden sparkle jelly. It's like a sparkle jelly slime. How did she make this? What's in there? Bubble, is that Snoopy? It looks like a red Snoopy or like a dragon, I can't tell, but it's so cute. Look at this, look at this. You're joking me. This is squishy gold. <laughs> I really, I mean, I saw the sparkles through the balloon. It was kind of clear, but any guess was good. I had no clue. Wow, this is some crazy kind of a jelly slime. It's so, so stretchy. Ooh, it's so pretty. And there's something in there. <laughs> I don't know what it is. They're little, they're little figurines. What is that? Oh, that looks like a little bear holding a honey pot, or it's a monkey, but I don't know. Doesn't even matter, because it's so cute and slimy. Oh, I'm loving this. I am loving this. One thing Colleen does so much better than me, she makes slime so, so good. Look at this. It's almost like a putty slime. It is super stretch. It's clear. It's got almost like a pearly look. So pretty. And she's got these crazy little things sticking on in there. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> what is that? Seahorse. Ooh, it's like a little seahorse. At first I thought it was a giraffe. I think it's like a seahorse. What are these things? Where did she find them? This is, hmm, this looks like some kind of monkey. <laughs> a little blue monkey covered in slimy stuff. 
Uh... Oh, those I told you already. I think it's like a monkey or a little bear holding a honey pot. Who cares? It's so cute. Wait a minute. We got this orange one. That's definitely a chimpanzee bubble. It's a chimpanzee. Look at it. It's nice. And the balloon is just so pretty with the sparkle slime on it. Chop it up. Mystery solved, you guys. Inside of that pink balloon, eh? we got some of this beautiful slime. Some of these little creatures. I actually picked them out of there. Oh, it's so, so jelly-like. Bubble looks like jelly-like. It's like pokey-like. Look at the poke on it. And it's stretchy and twisty. It has all the good qualities. You know what I'm saying? those squishy teens next up on the table is my first ever i think it's the first ever squishy crab now believe it or not when i got this thing it was like this big i got it out of a gumball machine it was this big i kept it in water for like a week and here is what we have it grew oh, something this little grew into something like this because this ain't right you have to chop it up pronto before it pinches your hand off now the funny thing about it, when it was this big, it was like rock hard. It felt almost like a pebble or a stone, and now it's definitely squish. And I'm so curious, what is in there? What is making it grow? What is making it so different? <laughs> I don't know. The bubbles like crab legs are on the menu tonight. Are these Alaskans? This is going to be our dinner. Chop it. It goes. Here it goes. Oh, I am so so curious. What is inside of here? I don't know how to describe how it feels. It's almost like a squishy rubber. I don't know. Let's do it. Chop the leg first. Ooh. Oh, what do you make of this? Do you make anything of this? Because it looks solid, but it's not. Let's cut a little deeper. A little deeper. Looks like a mango or something. Maybe it's filled with crab meat. Let's crack the claw. Oh no. It's mango. <laughs> oh, this is driving me crazy. You know, I'm chopping it up. I still can't figure it out. But the only thing it kind of reminds me of is Orbeez. My scissors are filled with that kind of Orbeez stuff, that jelly. That's what it kind of feels like. It's like Orbeez material. This can't be Orbeez. This crab cannot be made of Orbeez. Let's cut him down the center and get to the nucleus of him and see what's going on. Oh, it's a bunch of yellow again. I don't get it. <laughs> what is going on here? It is just a bunch of yellow. I don't know. I mean, it was this big. Now it's huge. What made it big? What made it expand? It has these little, little white jelly things popping out. I just don't know. I don't know. I could never figure this out. Chop it. Chop it. Feels like a frozen popsicle. What about this? Crabby leg. Joking. Didn't get too far. I mean, I chopped this thing up from head to toe, but I just don't know what to make of it. It does have a kind of squishy feeling, and when you kind of rip at it, it looks like, you know what it looks like? The filling to a diaper, like a baby diaper, that kind of jelly, but I still don't know. Just don't know. It's weird. This actually took my appetite for eating crabs for like abs. Yeah, that looks like a baby shrimp. Looks like a shrimp. I don't even want to eat crab anymore. This is gross. Wait a minute, Bubba. I just gotta chop up this baby shrimp. Okay. Oh, teenies, get ready for some Nutella. Nutella. Well, you little sweetie pies, we're moving on from that crazy crab to a tiny little itty bitty Nutella. I have never seen a Nutella this small. Colleen got it. It is actually slam. Oh, we need to do the comparison. Let's do the comparison so they get it. Here is the Nutella slime brought to us by Colleen. And here is the real Nutella. Is there a difference? Oh, I just so happen to always have Nutella at home. Here is my Nutella. This is usually the size. And this is what she gave us. Look at this little itty bitty bottle. It's just so tiny. It's so cute. I don't know if she picked this up in Japan. I don't know if she made it. I don't know where she got this little thing, but I'm so curious to open it up. Let's do it. And then we're eating this whole thing with some bread. Seriously. It's like a little Nutella jar for like a little mouse. 
Look at this. Whoa. You are kidding me. Look at this. I smell it. It smells like chocolate. Nutella slime. I cannot believe it. I can't believe it's in this jar and I can't believe how real it feels. Oh, are you joking with me? This literally smells like chocolatey hazelnut spread. But it's slime and it's sticky and it looks like chocolate poo poo. Oh, this is so, so crazy. You guys, if you knew how good this smelled, it looks like Nutella. I could spread it on some toast. Oh, it's so, so sticky and slimy. It's got the whole texture going. Unbelievs. And you can poke them. Unbelievs. I could play with this stuff all day. It smells so good, it's making me hungry. But we got to put it away and look at something else. Love it. That old chocolate scented Nutella slime seriously beats out all the other slimes in the world. Seriously does. Remember that. Put this little sweetness to the side and move along to another homemade. She's got all these little animal print balloons. Last week I got a cheetah. I got some zebra now. Ooh. Sarah say bubble, where does Colleen get all these safari balloons? She gets all the jungle animals. She's crazy. We got a zebra. We got a zebra. a little similar to that sparkly one with those little animal pieces but I don't know I don't know I can't even tell what she put in here it kind of feels like pudding one way to find out mmm oh, look at that there's little pimples popping out there's little purple pimples popping out and there's a big one Ooh. what is it Oh, is it seriously happening right now? This is some type of zebra infection. This is zebra infection, and it's purple and sparkly, and something is happening. <laughs> what is this? Actually, it doesn't look gross, but the texture is so, so weird. Ooh, it's so sticky and slimy. It's like a purple sparkle ooze. What is that? She made it. Where did she get this? Ooh. The balloon is actually all swallowed up in there, if you can believe it. Look at that, like the balloon. There it is. Ooh, this stuff, this stuff, you guys, is so, so sticky. I mean, it's definitely slime. It doesn't really make a mess, but it is the softest, ooeyest, gooeyest slime I think I've ever seen. I kind of like it. It's cute. It's got like a purple glitter, but it's so sticky. It's like chewed up gum. <laughs> It's so, so weird. Look, Bubba, it's bubbling. Look at that bubble. Oh, you need to get on the phone right now and ask Colleen what formula she used. What formula is this? We, oh, we got the ooey gooey stuff ever. Oh, I kind of like it. I love the texture. It's kind of relaxing, but it is a big old mess. It sticks everywhere. It's just way too sticky for me. It's weird. Oh, this stuff is ridiculous and pointless and way too messy to play with or call a slum. So I say, get rid of it. Right now. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? It's a mess. I cleaned up that purple icky. Oh, that was the stickiest slime ooze, whatever that was. It was all over the place. We are on to our final little thing, and it is a little happy face putty slime. Picked it up yesterday. Oh, this thing looks a little more scary 
a frightening than it is happy. Looks like a jack o' lantern. <laughs> I haven't tested this little baby out yet. I don't know what it feels like, what the texture is. Let's do it. Ooh. It's like a gel. Like a gel? It's like a blue gel inside of a green jack o' lantern. That's weird. Ooh. It is like a putty slime. And it's blue. Ooh, this is actually kind of cool. You know, I was expecting almost like a flarp, but this is some kind of see-through blue. Ooh, it's so, so cool. It's clear. It's got a good texture. Bubble the texture rocks. The color rocks. The container rocks. Like, it's got everything good going for it. Do you like it, Bubble? I love it. Another thing, it's such a big piece. It's like a really big piece in this tiny little jaw. Ooh, it's so mega stretch. Pokey pokey time! Pokey pokey time! Pokey pokey time! Oh yeah! You take out the putty container, you put in your putty for the jack o' lantern. Look. Look at that. Look at that. That's crazy. Now that I'm looking at this, you guys, look how cool this is. You put it in here. Yeah, this thing is sticking out. His tongue, his eyeballs are popping. Ooh, there's a little bubble. This is fun. Oh, this thing is starting to look real weird. Like, it was a regular jack o' lantern, but now it is oozing. It is oozing from its eyeballs. Is that normal? Look at it. Look at the tongue. Let me try this. I'm gonna push it down with your container. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah. Baba, look at that. That's magic. Yeah. Yeah. And now I'm gonna slice off the tongue. I did not expect this thing to be so cute. I could literally play with this all day. I love it. You could either push it with your finger or with this little piece. Look at that. Ew. Ew. There it is, the final one, my putty slime, whatever you call this. I really love it. I love the texture. It's so different than any other kind of putty I've bought. It's not like a flarp. Sounds like a flower, but it's got a different feel to it, like jelly. I love it. Love it. Oh, your chopping block looks really weird right now, with Nutella touching the crab leg. That's weird. Chaos continues. Here's our chopping block. This is what we ended up with. <laughs> kind of scary. Of course it's scary, of course. Like, little clear putty with creatures, crab legs, purple goo, Nutella, and this thing. Evil if you guys enjoyed it and I'd love for you to leave me a comment let me know out of all this craziness what was your favorite squish we are going to have so many more fun videos coming up on the show and if you want to subscribe to our channel just click this big yellow bubble with the bubble gum machine and subscribe have a great day you guys bye